you don't know where to store all your miniatures and you don't know how to transport them as well, I have a solution. A little bit of context before the video starts. I had to do this project twice because the first time it failed miserably. It was on Monday, so I had to redo everything on Tuesday, which is when I'm shooting this video. My plan is all written this time. Okay, you can't really see it, but don't worry, I will skip it. Whoa, wait a second. Maybe some of you are interested, so here's the plan. My plan is fairly simple. I'm just going to make a box. As it's actually for storage and transporting, I also needed to add a way to make my shelves easily removable. I used some wood sticks and my shelf would uh, be put on those wood stick, just like I'm drawing right now. Be careful with all the measurements that I'm using because you actually need to subtract the width of all of your planks if you want to reduce the same box as I did, but I did not go in such detail for the video. If you actually like to see a project like this one, don't forget to tell me in the comment section down below if you have any idea of stuff that I could do with wood for miniatures related stuff. I'll try to do a few mistakes, but I just hope that I don't do as many as yesterday. Anyway, let's go, let's get going. I want this shelf and this bag to be as light as possible, so it's not a when I have to go to the local shop for playing Edge of Sigmar. I measured all of my wood planks and I just need to cut them right now. So let's do this. Just like this. Let's go! I finally did it! I cut all the pieces to the right size. I just now need to add some strips, some line, some wood line um, here so I can put my shelf in and I think that's gonna be it after it's going to be a full assembly and it's going to be done. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I also need to cut the shelf, but that makes sense. Now that all the wood, the small wood piece are um, sanded, I need to glue them on the edge of the box. So I think I'm just going to trace it before I place and glue them. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I just need to glue all of the pieces to those two planks. Let's do it. While this is drying, I'm going to take some wood bits and make another accessories for Edge of Sigma. You will see in a second. It's perfectly one inch, 
And so what we're just going to do is cut this in half in like this shape. So we have two inches this way and half an inch this way. Here we go. I think I'm just going to make a few of them because it's quite useful when you play Edge of Sigma. The little sticks are now glued, so I just need to assemble everything and it's going to be it. I'm actually scared that it does not work for any reasons. I don't know which one, but I think we'll figure that out later. Let's build it. Look at this pretty box. Uh, I just need to cut out the two shelves and then we'll see how it works. I'm finally at my apartment and I just completed this box with top shelves and I thought that it was over but no 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 I forgot that I had to put to put these bad boys onto the shelves. They are just, um, how do they call them? Self-adhesive rubber steel sheets. It's just basically stuff to make my magnet stick a lot better to the shelves because as I'm transporting my miniature, I don't want them to move too much inside this box. So that should be the perfect solution. Let's just glue this onto this. There are actually a few ways I could glue the metallic rubber to the shelves. I could just glue it like this. I think I'm wasting a bit of space because if I do strips, I'm probably going to have the same results, but I will have some strips left if something is, if something happens and I need to make new shelves. If I have bigger armies, I don't really know yet, but I think I'm going to try with the strips. Let's go. Oh, that's for my next big project. Stay tuned for this. I have my first strip and I just removed the paper that prevents it to stick from everywhere and I will just try to glue it on the shelf. And that's the first one. By the way, I did not tell you that I did a huge mistake when I built the box. I did not try to dry fit it in the bag. When I was at my parents' house, everything was working well until I tried to fit the box in the bag. It wouldn't go, it wouldn't fit. It was too large of one or two centimeters, too wide, sorry. So I actually needed to take a bigger bag. The second bag is not actually that big, it's just like a few inches bigger, which is perfect because my box fits. I finished the strips, it's all done. I think it's time. Let's go for a small montage.
Thanks for watching this video guys. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it and to subscribe if you want to follow my crazy project. <laughs> See you next week. Oh, okay.